And to Bono State, we are in a bid to alleviate the hardship faced by internally displaced persons in the Northeast. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has distributed poultry livestock to 17,500 displaced persons, returnees, and communities in Bono State to boost family income and build resilience. The project targeted Mafa and Jere local government areas of Bono, Taraba, Yube, and Adamawa states. John Tenai reports. A decade long insurgency in Northeast has displaced several people from their communities, contributing to the struggle for survival, especially at a time the nation is experiencing economic hardship across all regions. The crisis over time prompted the need for humanitarian support to cushion the effects of hunger and poverty on vulnerable people. Fatima Omar, an IDP in Ala Karamti community, got 20 life chicks from food and agriculture organization to start a poultry business that will increase her income to sustain a family of five. We have been in this community for the past 10 years. All those years were really stressful especially after we escaped the Bama attacks. She is among 875 households across Jere and Mafa local governments who were empowered with livestock feed and 17,500 live chicks to restore their livelihood and build resilience of internal displaced persons, host communities and returnees affected by the Northeast insurgency. I appreciate them so much for providing us this support. I was given 20 beds. You know that presently, chicks are very expensive in the market. They can buy their old chicks and raise them on their own. Even when they go back to their places of origin, they can continue with the business. And the type of poultry we are given is called the Noela bat. They, they were brought a day old, so we monitored their brooding, their growth, their health until today. All the necessary vaccinations that are required for these birds to actually successfully be kept by the beneficiaries was in short. It will not be a surprise that in the next couple of months, Fatima Uma will be smiling from the sales of these chicks when they are matured enough. John Tena, ITV News.